Andrew Bogut did not make it through one minute of his debut with the Cavaliers. Bogut, the team's new center, broke his left leg in the second quarter and had to be assisted off the floor and to Cleveland's locker room. Bogut could not put any weight on his leg as he was helped by his new teammates James Jones and Tristan Thompson, who moments earlier had cheered along with fans in Quicken Loans Arena when Bogut checked in for the first time. The Cavaliers said initial X-rays had revealed a fractured left tibia. Bogut was taken to the Cleveland Clinic for further tests. Bogut, 32, sustained the injury at the 11 minute 38 second mark of the second quarter, less than 60 seconds after taking the floor for the first time in his number 6 jersey. The Cavaliers went on to lose, 106-98, their second loss to the Heat in three nights. Bogut was on the perimeter guarding Akaro White when he went down. He dropped to his back and laid on the floor, grabbing his leg in obvious pain before a trainer got to him. LeBron James said he knew immediately that Bogut's injury was serious. I heard it break, he said. I heard it crack. Bogut's injury sent a chill through the Cleveland crowd and seemed to affect the Cavaliers, who were without coach Tyron Lue because of illness and were out of rhythm even before Bogut dropped to the floor clutching his leg in obvious pain. It's very deflating, James said. It's a tough moment. We all were excited about the acquisition, you know, bring him in here. It's a tough one, not only obviously for him, first of all, but then for our ball club. Bogut signed with Cleveland last week, turning down bigger contracts and more playing time to help the Cavs defend their NBA title. Bogut received a huge ovation when he took the floor for the first time with 36 seconds left in the first quarter and another one seconds later when he picked up a foul with the kind of physical play the Cavaliers were hoping to get from him. Cleveland signed Bogut to a $385,000 contract for the rest of the season, adding him to beef up their front court, which is missing all-star forward Kevin Love, who is still weeks away from returning from knee surgery. Bogut injured his left knee in Game 5 of the NBA Finals last year for Golden State and hurt his right knee in December while playing for Dallas. Before the game, Bogut was in a playful mood as he discussed his choice to join the Cavaliers. It was a tough decision, Bogut said. It came down to two teams, Boston and Cleveland, and I decided to go with Cleveland, obviously. It's the best opportunity to try to win a championship playing with one of the best, if not the best, players to play the game. It was a tough decision, in a way, because of the history, but I can't control it. I got traded, so I ended up having the luxury of having four or five teams recruit me, which is a nice thing to have. But at the end of the day, I thought Cleveland was the best chance. The Cavaliers were thrilled to acquire Bogut, a former number one overall pick, who was meant to provide them with front court depth, a rim protector and even more postseason experience. Bogut's arrival capped a midseason overhaul of Cleveland's roster with general manager David Griffin adding Kyle Korver, Derek Williams and Darren Williams to a team already featuring James, Kyrie Irving, and Love.